Hello Internet, I'm Guy. This quick tip is about a bowl forming jig that bolts onto your carriage as a direct replacement for the cross slide. Apparently it's been around since 2018 and it's still advertised as a new, clever, brilliant improvement. Notice that I'm now putting a couple of shims in there. Total of 0 0.030 plus 0 0.016 is 0 0.046 is what worked on my machine. I think they deliberately left a little space under there so you can center it for your specific machine. I don't think that was a design floor. So now I'm setting it up for an approximate guess at the radius and then I'm going to check near and far and keep adjusting until I find that it clears on both sides just equally. So that's close. Then I'm going to ease it in a bit more. And eventually I'm going to put proper markings on my calibration for the, where the little arrow intersects with their uh, imperial measurements there on the actual jig. I don't think I've got my mark exactly in the right place. But here it is, top view. Um, so now I'm setting my uh, carriage to the right distance to where it's just touching. So then I lock down the carriage and start making passes and inching in. Now I don't have this stock centered. This is just a test demonstration, so uh, ignore the fact that it's a bit out of whack there. I also have more stick out than I need. So what I'm doing now is moving forward about 50 thou every time on the carriage and going through slowly. I, I'm sure I could probably move a little faster um, in the roughing stage. In the final passes, you definitely want to go slower because you get a nicer finish, and I've got a good speed going there. So you can see in that final pass, I'm going a little bit slower, and then a spring pass is necessary, to, of course, to finish it up. But it ends up with a really beautiful finish, and I'm very pleased with the way this unit works. Now, of course, you can also set it up for concave passes. So here I am bringing the cross slide in just to where it touches. I've set a radius that I like, just arbitrarily. This is a purely demonstration purposes. So a couple of light passes, and then I'm going to bump in by about 5 to 10 thou per pass. I'm going to speed it up a little in a second here so you can just see me whittling my way through it. But uh, once you get dialed in on it, boy, it just cuts beautifully. Of course, any carbide insert would cut nicely anyway, and it leaves a great finish. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful. If you did, uh, you might want to subscribe, and certainly give me a like if you can, or a super thanks. And you can also support me on Patreon.